We thank the Lord for yet another opportunity to gather together in the house of God and worship the Lord and also that we may hear what he has to say to us. We thank the Lord for all that he is speaking to us over a period of time. It is time to awake and know that we have come closer to our salvation than we first believed. So the Lord is sending forth wake up calls. He's calling his church, his people to arise therefore and come into those riches unto which they have been called and separated. The Lord has been speaking to us over a period of time. The great need for us to have faith. As we live in these last days. There is such emphasis both in the Gospels and in the letters. On the apostles. For the great need of faith in these end times. Jesus Christ himself said, When the Son of Man will return, will he find the faith? We need faith. In the Lord in these days. That we may experience everything that he has promised to his church before his return as well. We heard faith brings us into oneness with God's purpose. Oneness with God's method. Oneness with God's means. Oneness with his time, faith brings us into oneness with the basis of God's working, which is the basis of resurrection. So we thank God for the things that those thoughts God has revealed to us, ministered to us. And we heard last week very clearly from God's word that he is the living one. He is the resurrected one. He ever liveth. It is with the living God we have to do. And we thank God for all that the Holy Spirit ministered to us. You know, recognizing that He is our living God in all reality, it ministers such a great comfort to our inner man. <laughs> On one side, it brings such great comfort to our, our hearts. An infinite comfort. It ministers to us such tremendous peace. That our God is a living God. We heard about the Thessalonians. How that they turned to the true and the living God. They discovered the living God in their lives. So we heard that they did not turn 
from one religion to another religion, one system to another system, one teaching to another teaching, not from one association of people to another association. It's so sad today, that's what Christianity has become. But they turn to the living God. Adubu, hari bete selon ini agi mewi singa do isor do ansi lakhi bani. It was on the basis of the working of the power of resurrection. They were brought into the relationship with the living God. Oh, ibu gigi thabak adu nama koi bu ahing bu isor da borakhi bani. So it's very important in our lives. So we are not turning to a teaching, to a tradition, to some interpretations, to human associations. If that's the way things are in our lives, we are missing the true purpose of God in our lives. So we heard many wonderful things last week from God's word. Last week we heard many wonderful things last week. The relationship with the Lord has become a matter of a system. Some activities make you feel that you are alive to God and God is alive in us. Hai na, adu kumbha thabak thawo ankhara pangthokpa tauja badu na ishoor da ekoi hingli bani hai na khalal le. Because they are part of a system, they are actively involved in those things, they think they are alive. And God is alive. And they are alive. We know the terms and terminologies. The doctrines. We have learned to pray, we have learned to share. We have learned how to be in meetings. We have learned how to behave. We have So I see that God has spoken a very clear word to us. A diagnostic word. So let's not be in a place where we feel I'm okay. As we heard, the Holy Spirit is the one who will help us to see whether things are alive or not. And I also shared last week. That I have to be honest with myself and with God and with God's people. And our relationship is not as with the living God in many lives. So a great wake-up call has come to God's people in this present time. We may be associated with many things concerning the living God. But the question that we need to really honestly answer is is there the livingness in the things concerning God with His very person it is the Holy Spirit who will make things real to us. Make things alive. 
May the Holy Spirit wake us up is my prayer. Even this morning as we begin our meditation. Let the Holy Spirit wake us up is my prayer. We also saw one thing that God allows trials in our lives as we have seen in the past. We saw one thing that God allows trials in our lives as we have seen in the past. Many a time we may feel that even God is not alive. I am 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 not alive. Amamam gipun si da mahakna kan kraba lep kraba hot kraba matungi na tapo kuri ba mahaki panda mado thongan bina na bagi da mahakna He is the living God. He is a God of resurrection. Mahaki ni mahaki si budagi hingat kraba. It is to His end. He wants to bring us not that leave us to ourselves and we come to an end in our situations. Mahakna sabak kuri bani aduga aikoi na awan ang sindu da aikoi pun si loy sinara na bagi da magta nate. We thank God for all that we heard last Sunday. I'm just revising some of these things. We also heard that there's a note of warning here. On one aspect, it's very comforting to know that our God is a living God. At the same time, we also saw that God is a living God. We need to know that to withdraw or draw back from this living God is a dangerous thing in our lives. So we saw from the book of Hebrews that take heed brethren Lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living God. So we saw in verse 3 the designation the living God is used in that connection which surely means that if any man will draw back from the living God his purpose his fullness that great salvation that is bound up with the living God there are going to be consequences for us we heard this our relationship is bound up with this fullness is it not he has called us into this salvation. Wherein he is wanting to give himself to us. It is his fullness that he is offering to us. And to deny that is to deny the living God. And how can we escape? As the Hebrew writer says, if you neglect this so great salvation, it is unfortunate today that many preachers do not speak the truth. Many preach salvation but not the full salvation. We also heard one thing very clearly last week towards the end. There are other gods who are always taking away and robbing us always, impoverishing us. 
and takes us away from the living God. Aduga, ikoi bo hingli ba isor dagi singthok pa lothok pa. Will rob you of everything that the living God is offering to us. Hari bol laya duna hingli ba isor na ikoi da pina biri ba khuding maksing asa maag na munthok pi gani huran thok pi gani. Now, when we look into the life of men like Daniel, I koi na Daniel kum ba miyo magi punsi da yeng labadi. We see very clearly. I koi na yam na mayak sing na ure that his relationship with the with the living God was so alive. His relationship was so alive. Whether it was Nebuchadnezzar or other kings, or his very profession, his position, these things were dead to him. He did not care for the kings. The ruler had authority and rule over his own life. But his relationship with the living God was so alive. That mattered to him more than anything. He did not allow any other gods to take away. Mahak na hari balai singa sih nama orang lagi hingli ke isu lagi nari bermari itu bu muntok pada mahak na yaram de. How often gods of this world rob us? Kaya tetap tetap tuh ini nama sih kita pun gigi lai singa sih na. It could be our job, hari balai singa, education, thabak sing, oi bayai, aduk mahi masing, money, riches, ai koi gigi ina kun basing, ai koi gigi. Our desire to be successful in life. Ai koi gigi pun sih damai pangning bagi oi balai sing bu oiro. Oh, there are many things. Kaya marum su lairi bani. As we heard towards the end, the word of God does not say, Take heed, brethren, lest you fall away from the blessings. Fall away from the riches. Fall away from the good things. Excuse me. Fall away from the prosperity. Adi lantum zaukat panongai ay pabatu dagi doi lekata. But turning away from the living God. Adu buhai kibo adu di hingli bo isor dagi mai lekthok tena na bagi dagi. Remember everything is bound up with the Lord Himself. Kuding mag isor dagi punsin minarag punsin minarag leri bani hai bosin. One who has come to salvation and knows that he is called according to his purpose. Aran kubam da lakrabo amadi mahaki. This is life eternal that they might know the only true God. Even Jesus Christ, whom thou didst send, to know Him as the living God, is fullness of blessing. So we thank God for every warning that has come to us. And this morning, I want to move on, and I should confess, God has something more to speak to us today. And this, this revising is necessary. And I would like to say right at the outset that I am not worthy to speak those things which I am going to speak. I am not worthy to speak those things which I am going to speak. I am not worthy to speak those things which I am going to speak. I am very conscious of. What I am going to share with God's people. And I share these thoughts with much reverential fear in my own heart. I know it's such an uh, 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 it's a matter of infinite comfort to know that. My God is a living God. At the same time, I have to do with a living God. And he reacts. He reacts. When we defect, 
We walk away. I koi na hai budi shor dagi mai lai thok kiba matam. We withdraw. I koi na mangon. We refuse. Ninghan na ba halak pa mai mai lai thok pa yada ba matam da mahakti matam mai thok pa thabok shor. That is also the nature of the living God that he reacts. King liba ishor gi mahaki mawong matau amani mahak na mahaki mai thok ta liba makai sing mangon dagi mai thok pa thabok shor. Amuk. That is the nature of the living God. Madhu, that he reacts. Madhu isori na amuk hanu. And that we see right through the scripture. I will say, I koi na masi sastra dagi, I koi na ura bani. Isori na adu kum bami hoy singi dagi. Let's share. My yok to thabok shubani I will say. Sastra dagi aho dagi I koi na ura bani. God wants me to be faithful in what I share. Aye na tauzari ba saru kang angzari ba sida. That I don't hold back what is laid upon my heart. Aduga, I na mahag na i thamoy da thambi kraba singa se. God wants me to be faithful. Ishor na, I bo thaza baya abo ohenni. Hai dok chavasi da. And live unto him. That's a great challenge in my own life. Masi ai gida magta chau raba singa ba amani. So may God help us. Shona ikoy po tengbang bi boi sanu. There is a very solemn word in this connection. In the connection of the living God, in connection with the living God, and I want to turn us to that scripture that is found in Hebrews chapter ten. Ibriagi tara asida ikoy yengsi. I would like to go slowly. I tap na chacha ningi. And I want to go very specifically. Aduga akak na na ayisat pa pamit. Wahi wahi. I don't want to rush through this word because it's a very serious word. Masigi wahi singa si da i potha thopo pam di maram di masi ya. Hebrews chapter ten. Ibriagi tara. And verse thirty one. Pada na kuntra matoi. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. I hing ba isor gi kutta ta ba hai bese. Now this letter was written to the Hebrew believers in the New Testament times. Masi si 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 This was addressed to the New Testament believers, and specifically to the Hebrew believers. And it suggested by majority that it's, it was written by the Apostle Paul. And so this letter is written to the New Testament church. New Testament believers. वाले अपने वकी था जब अमीर ही सिंह डे ई बनी एंड इस एंटर चैप्टर अधूरों का मसीह की चैप्टर अपन दो पुमना अपुम बसे वी आर एबल टू सी मसीह दाई कोई न ओवर फंगे द सुपीरियरिटी ऑफ द लॉट्स द प्रीस्टुड ऑफ जीसस एंड इस सैक्रिफाइस महा की अथवा बा पुरुहित लेन अमा दिमाग की इराद पोट ओए बगी एंड हाउ दैट एवरीथिंग इन द I will be mamigi oy bata. And times in the Old Testament is brought to an end. Maong matogi oy bata bok sing ado loisen kiba ni Prabhu Jesus Christ na aroy bata porak kiba ni. I would like to just read a few verses here. Aina padas khar padas khara sing khara pad thokshe ningi mapa masi dagi. I will take verse nineteen therefore. Padas tara mapa na ado dagi hauze ningi. Having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus, by a new and a living way, which He hath consecrated for us through the veil, that is to say, His flesh, and having an high priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart of full assurance of faith. Having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience, and our bodies washed with the pure water, look at the expressions. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith. 
without wavering for his faithful that promised and let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is but exhorting one another and so much the more as you see the day approaching for if we willfully sin or if we sin willfully after that we have received the knowledge of the truth there remaineth no more sacrifice for sins this was written to New Testament, New Testament But a certain fearful looking for judge of judgment and fiery indignation which shall devour the adversaries. But a certain fearful looking of judgment looking for of judgment and then he brings in the example he that despised Moses Lord died without mercy under two or three witnesses oh how much more sorer punishment not lesser how much sorer punishment suppose he shall he be thought worthy who hath trodden underfoot the Son of God and hath counted the blood of the covenant wherewith he was sanctified, wherewith he was sanctified. Amen? Talking not of an unbeliever, but a believer. Wherewith where he was sanctified. An unholy thing. That blood that sanctified him, now he considers that as an unholy thing. He treats that blood as an unholy thing. That had said, Vengeance belong unto me. I will recompense, say the Lord again. Lord. And again the Lord shall judge his, his people. He's not talking about the world. Again the Lord shall judge his people. Then he says, It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of of the living God. It is talking about a people who had known the living God and, and now withdrawn from the living God. Take heed, brethren, let there be no heart of unbelief in anyone in withdrawing from the living God. To withdraw from the living God is to fall into the hands of the living God. Who teaches that today? Who preaches that today? Then Paul talks about their background. Their beginnings. The wonderful way they have come into salvation. The price they paid. The sufferings they took on themselves. For the sake of Christ. Then he says in verse 35. Cast not away. The confidence. Which great, great recompense of reward. You need patience. We have seen the scriptures, but I'm just reading them again. Before I move on. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. And then he goes on to say many several other things here. Now the just shall live by faith. And finally verse 39. But we are not of them who draw back. Draw back from the living God. 
To draw back from the living God is to fall into the hands of the living God for his judgments. Not of them. We are not of them who draw back, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. So I want to bring this to focus for first of all. You know, this is not talking about the Old Testament. This is talking about the time of grace. This is talking about the time of his sacrifice, his blood that was shed for all humanity. My dear brothers and sisters, listen carefully. We are living in a time. We are living in a time. The, the word of God is watered down to fit into man's Welfare. Oh my God, help us to know that. Our salvation is all about Him. Our salvation is all about what He has to offer to us. Our salvation is that it's bound with the living God. Oh may God help us as we move on today morning. Let us not forget about the Old Testament. This is a passage that brings us that would bring us into a solemn warning. You and I have not to deal with men in the final issue. Aroi pada ikhoy tau mina ke dapa bicara tau mina ke dapa semiyo ibu ke nate. Finally, it's not with men we have to settle accounts. Ikhoy ke accounting ase hisap kitab. It is with the living God. Hingli ba isor ke nih miyo ibu ke nate. Aroi bagi aroi pada ikhoy. Finally, it's not that we need to reckon with people. Kangtok mina ke dapa se. Aroi pada miyo ibu ke nate kangtok mina ke dapa ibu se. Finally, it is not that we have to reckon with some teaching. Finally, it's not that we have to reckon with some doctrine. Finally, it is not that we need to reckon with some places. Or reckon, reckon with anything else. And I want to say this, as I said, I share this word today with much reverential fear in my own heart. If you and I are not reckoning with people, we are not reckoning with the truth. If you and I would refuse the light, if you and I would refuse our obedience, withhold our obedience under the Lord. If you and I would withhold something from the Lord, if you and I would be in any way unfaithful, we need to know that it is with the living God that we have to do. Oh may God help us. I want to bring up example, an example from the Old Testament. That's, that's an example which would really shake us. Nonetheless, 
Yeah. I would like to read from verse 26, Hebrews chapter 10 again. I'm sorry, I'm getting back there as the Spirit is bidding me. Now, if we sin deliberately, I'm reading J.B. Phillips. After we have known and accepted the truth, there can be no further sacrifice for sin for us but only a terrifying expectation of judgment and the fire of God's indignation which will one day consume all the sets itself against him. All the sets itself against him. The man who showed contempt for the law, for, the, for Moses' law, died without hope of appeal on the evidence of two or three of his fellows. How much more dreadful a punishment will he be thought to deserve who has poured scorn on the Son of God, treated like dirt the blood of the agreement which had once made him holy. Amen. Which has once made him holy. So talking about a believer. And insulted the spirit of grace. How much, how much more dreadful a punishment. So we are going to see an example in the book of Joshua. Joshua But let's bear in mind what the, the apostle says to the New Testament believers. He says, how much more dreadful New Testament than what you read under Moses' law. Asida Moses ki logi wayan ya thang makha da wari ba se kaya da ki ningai no hai na today modern preachers and liberal preachers in the new covenant things are far easier the, the God of the new testament is more loving the God of the new testament is more loving the God is the same whether in the old testament or the new testament his character is the same his character is the same his character is and that's why the Hebrew writer makes it very clear. How we need to respect the sacrifice of the Son of God. For we know the one who said, Vengeance is mine, I will repay. And again the Lord will judge His people. Truly, it is a terrible thing for a man who has done this to fall into the hands of the living God. With this, we want to move on to the book of Joshua and chapter 7. Joshua chapter 7. Joshua chapter 7. Now in chapter 7, we read in chapter 7 verse 1, But the children of Israel committed trespass in the accursed thing. For Achan, the son of Karmai, the son of Zebedee, the son of Sarah, 
of the tribe of Judah took off the accursed thing karmi ki macha ni pa akan na mang na na ba pithok la ba pot adu da gi khara lo ki adu na israel and the anger of the lord was kindled against mathakta jehova na mai hona sau ki the children of israel this is how chapter 7 begins asum tau du na panduk tarat ase hau ni they lost the battle in ai ai da ma koi lan pham mai thi ki lan mai thi ki bani ai da so we see very clearly they lost it because of aken ma koi na aken gi maram na mai thi ki bai koi na khali lan pham we read but and joshua ran his clothes and fell on the earth and fell to the earth upon his face before the ark of the lord until the even tide he and the elders of israel and put dust upon their heads aduga makhoina makok to phul chai khatlam he began to seek the lord about why this defeat has happened prabhu masi kari gida makta mai thiba oiri bano hai na prabhu gi mai thong thirammi joshua na The Lord said unto Joshua, verse ten, "Pada tara giloy silak pada." Get thee up, wherefore liest thou? Adu ko Jehovah na sa na hai hagatlo na hag na laypak ta na mai uprak no up. Israel had sinned, Israel na papta. And they have also transgressed my covenant, which I commanded them. Ngak na na ba pi ki ba walay na ba 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 Neither will I be with you any more, except you destroy the accursed from among you. Up, sanctify the people, and say, sanctify yourselves against to Yahweh your God. Up, sanctify the people, and say, sanctify yourselves against to Yahweh your God. Up, sanctify the people, and say, sanctify yourselves against to Yahweh your God. Up, sanctify the people, and say, sanctify yourselves against to Yahweh your God. Up, sanctify the people, and say, sanctify yourselves against to Yahweh your God. Up, sanctify the people, and say, sanctify yourselves against to Yahweh your God. Up, sanctify the people, and say, sanctify yourselves against to Yahweh your God. Up, sanctify the people, and say, sanctify yourselves against to Yahweh your God. Up, sanctify the people, and say, sanctify yourselves against to Yahweh your God. Until Mang he take away the accursed thing from among you. Adun na na koi na na koi gi narakta gi mang na na ba pithok la ba pot adun na koi na lo thok tri ba phau ba na hak na na hak ki yek na ba singi mang da le pa ngam. In the morning, therefore ye shall be brought according to your tribes. Na koi gi salai gi matung in na na koi na. And it shall be that the tribe which the Lord Take a shall come according to the families thereof, and the family which the Lord shall take shall come by the households, and the household which the Lord shall take shall come man by man. Aduna nipa amamam oina lakada vani. As I said right at the beginning of our meditation today, I share this word with great fear in my own heart. But not any kind of familiarity. 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 Not any kind of But the children of Israel, to God's people, 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 to But the reality was that his secret sin affected the whole people of Israel. Arot pa pa, aduna Israel gimi puna magta sokmi 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 Havzik iswar na makoy bu lam ama da pushin. They are to overcome the enemies. Adu ka makoy na lam makoy yek na pushin. Lan gamba dar kar oiki bani. Lan pham adu prabhu gini. Victories are promised. Adu ka mai pak pa adu wasak pi kar bani. The Lord will fight for them. Prabhu na makoy gida makta sok na bi gani hai bani. But here was a loss. Adu ka mapa masita makoy lan mai thire mangle. 
where they could have easily won makhoi ni irai line lan ngamlom goda goda now the real issue here is makhom masida ta seng ta seng no oiri bodu dikai marga the secret sin of aken was akan gi adugumba arot pa pa ado in an amazing way yam nangak pa mong amada thidokhi khangtok pa ngamki as i said ai nai ji ki bogum na let's not look at the scripture with familiarity ai koi na shastra se ha na khang khre haiba gi mong ma taw dai koi with a certain awe and reverence ta seng na aki tu zu baga loi na nei kai khumna baga loi we have to do with the living god khang jer adu na hingli ba iswar gani ai koi na taw gadori ba se khang khanmi na gada ba taw mi na so may god give us the grace this morning to hear this word will be my prayer for you and for zal pina bisanu masi gi wai se ta ja na bi da ma ta hai sina ai gi prarthna ori nang ai koi gi da ma ta hai ja ba prarthna that the secret sin of aken was struck down in an amazing way pap ado angak pa mong da thido ki look at the hundreds and thousands of people in the camp of israel israel gi adu ma kem adu da and one man among thousands Mi millions of people missing adu ko million million gi marak adu dai da hundreds of thousands adu ko ba ja kaya missing one man does something mi amana kari ko ba khara tau ki many a time we don't realize i koina ma se bhap ta da ba khang da bani and i do not want anyone to see this as a doctrine as a teaching masi kana gumba amana takpi tambi ba amadi but i pray that god will open our eyes to see and behold the living god mit thawai gi mit ase hang tok le hare ga that's my prayer that's what i said for seeing live i don't have this with much fear in my own heart aina pamja aina khanjari ba this is the god we have to pray masi aina ki tu jung ba loina na sandok chari ba haijari ba pa wa thousands hundreds of thousands of people asikumba mi lising kaya asikumba and here was a god who was determined to uncover ishor na mapa that one man hari ba mi ado lotpi ge hai na khan ki de ai di hangdo ke hai na khan ki phongdo ke hai to uncover the sin of one man mi amagi pap ase ishor na phongdo ke hai na khan ki और फोदी hari ba salai aduda and from the tribe to one of the families salai singda gi muk imung manung singda one of the families in the tribe salai singa aduda gi imung manung amada mahang na thidok lakhi bani until his own personal tent is reached hari ba miyoi adu gi masamak ki adu gumba and he ki, one man ki khan ado yaudri ba khaw hundreds of thousands of people adu ga adu gumba cha cha kaya lising kaya adu gi million kaya adu gi marak da gi mi ama isor gi this is the living god makhoya da ta khi ba isor gi makhut da ta khi ba ni isor na thidok tuna phang khi ba ni masini ahing ba isor hai ba makhoya na khalam ba ba yai asumna that he could mahak na sumna khalam ba yai default in the midst of such a big crowd adu gumba mi yam gra ba mi ayam sing adu da mahak na lot pa ngam mi hai na and in the midst of millions of people mi just one man yagi marak asidai da mi amma he could hide his iniquity mahaki ayol aran sing lam hen tu hen basing ad lo shal lagat tham and it would go unnoticed adu ga masi adum khanghan da na tham gani chat gani khanghan da na lai bangam gani it would go undetected masi khangtok pangam da na lai gani hai na khan ki it would have no consequences masi gi adu gumba tarakada ba phal karisu lai roi hai na He could. He thought he could deceive the elders of Israel. Israel ki ahala man sing bu lau nambang am gani hai na mina mang gani hai na. And yet not be discovered by anybody. Adu ka kanamat na hujik pao bu thidok pang am dana adu maina le rakhi bani. Now the the story of Achan is a story which we all are familiar. But listen to what the Holy Spirit has to say to you and to me about the living God, not about Achan. May our eyes be open to behold the living God in our lives. That's why I said right at the beginning, I share this with great fear in my own heart. With reverence and fear, I share this with us. But how can I hold back when God has spoken? I must say, Lord, I must sing a sing a bira. But the karam na phazil laga ang thok tana laga dage. Aiken had forgotten. 
ตัวที่ปัดตระมังอาสิดามุอันนี้ชัลบีดานฮีดาดิสเทเกนวิดเอคอร์สทิงชัลบีบอร์นวิดไฟร์ฮีแอนด์ออลดาดิฮีแฮ
As the Hebrew writer says, it's an awful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Hingli ba isol ki kotta taawa hai ba se akib ki masak ni hai na hai kibani. And I would like to encourage all of us, therefore, in the light of this word, if you and I are not living for God, and if we are not living for God, if we are honest, and 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 if we are honest, We never need to fall into the hands of the living God in that way as Achan had fallen. If we are honest, if we are honest, we don't have to. We never would fall into the hands of the living God in the way that Achan had fallen. And this is what exactly the Hebrew writer is also saying. Hebrew bu iri ba Ibrahim bu iri ba mahak na tapca na ano walem na bagi thaja ba missing da hari ba si masing. But the point is that. Ado bu maru wari ba di. Anything and everything that is secret in our lives. Kari bu oiro kuding mak bu ama ama bu oiro kuding mak bu oiro aiko ki punsi da. Hidden in our lives. Kari gumba bu oiro kuding mak bu oiro aiko ki punsi da. Which represents sin and iniquity. Lo alag alay ba paap ki paap ki masak oiro ba. Disobedience. Ado gumba. Refusal of the truth or the light. And want to hold on to things which are not of God. Isol ki oida basing bu set na pas special legal learning leba. Want to hold on to the gods of this world. Masiki taibang siki lai singa si bu set na pining aga leri ba. Mawong matau sing. Those things can bring us to that place where we fall into the hands of the living God. Let us remember the words of the Lord. 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 It is with him. We have to do sooner or later. Ko na bu oero, tap na bu oero, tap pa bu oero, ko na bu oero, masé tap pa bu oero, theng pa bu oero. Hingli pa isuor ganhi ay ko na. Tao minarakka do ribo kuding magsinga sa ay ko na antok pa ngamloy. As I said, I don't want to rush through this message today. Ay na haja kiba aduni. And my brethren would need time even to interpret. But how talk like a learning? Is it now sing learning? Is it now sing? So, Madam Zangani, Masi Handok. Now, as I said, it is with the Lord we have to reckon. Masi Prabhu Gani, I koi na wakal to mina gada ba sa Prabhu Gani. In the first place. Han ba magta dama duni. And I would like to say, it may not be that we need to reckon with those who are in authority in the house of God. But I would like to say one thing, very poignantly, it is with the living God we have to do. Let us read verse 1. Now you may think that Therefore, they don't have to reckon. They have nothing to settle with the leadership or God's authority in the house of God. I'm not saying that. But the most important thing is what they have to settle is settle with the living God. That's one thing we need to reckon. And that is why we need to reckon with the leadership of God. You know, and I would like to say this. 
as a person in responsibility over the house of God. The most blessed thing is to know in your heart that God's people have to reckon things with God finally. Mama Ithanga Isorga Kangmi Nagadavani Isorga Pichar Tomi Nagadavani Wayan Tomi Nagadavani Hai Vase Asini Kangjaga It is a relief to me Masi Aingonda Nungwai In my own heart To be in that place that finally It's not with They are not reckoned things with me Or settled things with me But it is to be settled with God Masi Aroi Badadi Ay Joy Thomas Ay Ganate Hari Bahiram Singh Asibu Pichar Togodori Ba Hari Bahiram Singh Asida Suraka Dori Ba Se The final issue is with God Aroi Bagi Oi Minaga Dori Ba Aroi Bada Oi Kadori Ba Everyone has to reckon with God Mipom Kuding Ma Kana Kana Bu Oro Mipom Kuding Ma Ishwar Gani Pichar Togodori Ba Se Ishwar Gani Kwakhal Tau Minaga Dori Ba Se Ishwar Maha Gani Kuding Ma Singh Ase Solution for me, including Maxing, I say, why and peace. Even when we share a word, even I have to share a counsel with somebody. I know me, Simbu, Pautak, Piba Tarabasu. I know why you want to put that. It helps me to realize when I realize I know I share the counsel. I know Bob Tare. I share the word of God. And finally it is for them to settle with God. And not with me. Finally the people are not to answer to me. But to us. But to God. Because it's God's word. It's not my word. It is not the word of the leaders. It's the word of God. And therefore they are answerable to God. They have to settle things with God. If they heard God's voice. Some people may have even this attitude. When they hear a message. You know, even towards the one who is sharing the word. I don't know. Even towards the one who is teaching the word. And how often I have heard that impression or expression. You know, it is, it is his interpretation. It is his message. Because it is his That's what he says. This is G.S. of interpretation. This is Brother Joy's interpretation. But I want to say one thing in our community. Well, we will not. We do not get away like that from God. We cannot get away like that from God. We cannot get away like that from God. It is God's word. Yes, it is God's word. We may get away for the time being. But remember, the day of reckoning is definitely there. We may get away for the time being. But remember, the day of reckoning is definitely there. So I would like to say it's very comforting for me to realize as a person in responsibility that I That it's my responsibility to share the word, the counsels. It is for God's people to reckon with God. It is for God's people to reckon with God. It's for them to settle things with God. Whether rejecting the light, refusing to obey, withhold their obedience, it's my life or your life. It's my life or your life. It's my life or your life.
We cannot get away like that. Adumaina, I koi na nanthok padi yaroi. Ishor dagi di. I want to say that. Aina haisen ingi madudi. It is not with the preacher we have to reckon. I koi na. It is not with the pastor we have to reckon. I koi na pastor ganna te I koi na pichar to mina gada ba. It is not with the elders that you you have to reckon. Elders ing ganna te I koi na pichar to mina gada ba se. But with the living God. Ado bu hingli ba isor mahakani pichar to mina gada ba. And may God help us. Mara ba dunai shona teng bang bisano. Oh my brothers and sisters. Aigi isena nau sing. Wherever you are hearing God. Na hag na karai karai da laira ga ishor gi wa. You are turn from idols to the living God. Na khoi ase lai murti da gi hingli ba ishor da ni onsi lakhi ba do. We are come to the living God. Ai khoi hingli ba ishor da lakhra ba ni. And that brings a terrible responsibility Maduna upon Chaura all of us. I koi kuna makta daito ama pukalakti bani. Think of all that God has blessed us with in our lives. I koi punsi da ishor na pina vikra bol kuding. Remember of all that God has given to us in His mercy. Ishor na koi da mahaki minung si thauzal na pina vikra bo puna maksinga do ningsingu. And remember, it is to the living God we have to answer. Adu ga ningsingu hingli ba ishor da ni ekhon na pau kum pi ke da ba se. How important it is to know that. Yeah, the maru ay krabo. As I said, it's a great infinite comfort to know our God is a living God. Ay kung hing isor sa hingli ba isor ni hay na kanga ba sa ngam kay lai tanan ngay ba mani? Ado ko nakalama dana mo akib ba di masat ni hingli ba isor dagi may lai thok pa hay ba sa isor gi hingli ba isor gi kuta tana na bani. I know that many a time people are upset with us. Ayam matamda missing na koy tanong ay tapa ina kangi. People are upset with this body of believers. Masid thaja ba singlo ki sinan ay sing asid missing na nong ay tapa lay ay ba ikangi. People are upset with me. Ay ngon dosun nong ay tay missing na soundingly. I hear a lot of criticism. Hulaga ngang ba huli hulan ba kaya marum soy natari. Not a week goes by without a, a, a new criticism. Adu ba ay koy ano ba huli hulan ba na ay koy bukas kada sinati. It may be 20 years old but it's packed in a new cover and brought to me. Ay ba di sa hi kul mo ki masidi wale ako na buwa sa ano ba ay na yung sila po rapag iwani hao karabu sa yola thok pa gumna. And I want to say in all humility. Ay na nolup sa ba po na makaloy na lain haidok sa lingi. Achum ba di matam po na magtalay ba ni. I am called to walk. I di kauna na bagi damak. In the consciousness. I go tat na bagi damak tak. That I be brought to the living God. I be di. That is my challenge. Hindi ba ishwar bo khang na na bagi damak tak. I gi bhap ta bo khang ba oin atlay na na bagi damak tak kau krabani. Madoni I gi singnari. And I am conscious in my own heart. I am not here to build something in my name or for my name. I khang e I samaki thamoi da karigumba. I gi ming kai saukat na na bo nongai na na bagi damak tak karigumba karai na tauna na bo lepsari banate ma fam masidai da kar kya jari banate. I ko gi ming ase he na thoi na wang na na bo tauna na bagi damak tak. Natra ka good samaritan gi ming ase saukat na na bagi damak hengat na na bagi damak tak. I am very conscious. I tau jari ba hai jari banate. I samak I say this from the depths of my heart. Aina hai jari, masi aigi thamai la kanung dagi aina hai jari bani. We have to settle things with the living God. Mama ithang dadi ai koi hingli ba ishor mahakani bap tami na gada bakhangmi na gada bese ai ga natte. And therefore, it brings a terrible responsibility upon us all. Mama ithang dadi ai koi hingli ba ishor mahakani bap tami na gada bakhangmi na gada bese ai ga natte. 
For all that God has given, we are responsible to answer Him. And the Lord is looking right into our hearts. And He knows. He knows about you and me. And I want to say this. Sorry. I would measure every word when I, as I say, it is impossible for us to deceive the living God. And I want to say, it cannot be done. And he knows what is within our hearts. He knows our home. He knows what is going on in our home. Nobody else may know. Kanamatana Kang the Bayai Madu. But he knows what is happening within your family. Nagi Mum Manum the Kari Tokli Bagay Mahana Kangbani. Remember Bagay Kangbani Mahana. We have to do with him. I coin at Suga Doriba to Minagadoriba as a Mahakani have as a Kangbio in Singbio. He knows our inward hearts. I koi gi thamoi laka nungyo ro mahana khang bani. I koi yum sing khang bani. I mung manung sing mahana khang bani. What is going on in our family? I koi gi mung manung da kari kari chathari bagi hai ba mahana khang bani. He knows what is happening in our secular life. I koi gi hing liba tai bangi punsi ase mahana kari no hai ba khang bani. Now schools, our colleges, the places of our work. I koi gi like tambam sing school, college, thabak shupham sing mahana khang bani. He knows us. In our relationship with one another. I koi amaga amaga lai nari ba mari ase karam na no hai ba maa na khang bani. He knows. Maa na khang bhi bani. He knows our relationship with one another. Amaga amaga lai nari ba mari ase maa na khang bani. It's not a matter that I can smile at you and you can smile at me and you know we can just show that things are fine with us. Aduga ai koi da kari sukai da na phajana lai riba gum na utna na bho na bado adu na te. People say, brother, we are praying for you. But there are attitudes which are not right. Thoughts which are not right. Criticism that going on in the tents of God's people. Vice versa. I want to tell you brothers and sisters the time is come. And as the Lord said unto Joshua. Arise. And sanctify yourselves. Arise and sanctify yourself. Sanctify the camp. Sanctify the camp. Sanctify the camp. Sanctify the camp. Attitudes, whisperings, judgments against one another, unidentifying expressions, activities within the body. All these things are going on. Yes, sometimes I'm, I sense that, I see that, but I cannot say anything. But I want to tell you one thing. It is affecting your life. It is affecting the body of Christ. Let us read. He knows how our relationships are with one another. I koi ki mari ase amaga amaga karam oiri karam tauri hai vase maha na khang bani.
He knows what we are. Ai koi kari ori bage ma na khang mani. We cannot have any kind of make believe before God. We can have it before men. Ishwar wo me singi ma mangda bo di ai koi na me bo thaja na bo di ngam lam gani. Adu Ishwar ki mangda di ai koi na thaja na na bo Ishwar na thaja na na bo kari ko ma samjhe. We can be so much other than what we are before men. Ishwar ki mangda ai koi na ori ba. But we cannot be other than what we are before God. Ai koi na ori ba. Asina ta ba Ishwar ki mangda ai koi na utpa yaroi. Ai koi na ori ba makum na dum Ishwar ki mangda ori bani. ไอ้คนมังได้คนน่ะไอ้คนที่คุณเสียเสียโอ้ยตะบอดรุดไปยาดานะอดุนะไอ้น่ะทําโอ้ยดะกิจบอกมาก็เลยน่ะนะอคิ
ibru ibriya sida ida pajana sida ida iragaleri if you deny him nahak na mahak po yadrabadi aba mathak lom da gi ngangbiri ba mahak po nahak na ya jadrabadi oh may god help us hai hai ishor na teng bang bi bo isena ai gi nong sira bo isena nau sin the same god the living god one who brings comfort to our hearts hai ba isor ngang li ba isor ai koi tham moi da no mai the same one who strikes isor ase chap manana yai bi ba ai koi tham moi da aki ba gi oi ba mu porak pi ba isor su oi ri ba ni and this we must realize brothers and sisters masi ai koi na khangja ga da ba ni sin na au sing bhap ta jaga da bani the lord who brings into us that infinite comfort he could also strike a terror in our hearts this is what he would write us so ki thamoi da awa ba singa loina na jeibi bangam ba isor ni hai ba se ibru iri ba mahak na hari ba duni and i know god is speaking this word to us aina khangi masi ki wahi singa se isor na ko da ngang biri ba ni And every one of us need this word in our lives. Madonna, I koi khuding maki punsi da, I koi khuding mag na masi ki wahai se darkar. We cannot come in familiarity to this living God. Masi ki hingli ba isor asi ga adum yam na. And I know this. For whom this word is for as well. Kana ki da magta no masi ki wahai se ayna khangi. Masi ay koi puna maki da maki na bi ba wahai ni. I know that. Ho bada ayna khangi punsi kara lai ni kara lai. And this word. is also coming to them in a specific manner aduga masi gi wahai si su hari ba miyo sing adu da kak na na lak li ba wahai amani hari ba thausa you and i are dealing with the living god nang ai na nomi nari ba sumi nari ba ase let's be conscious of that isor gani hai ba se madu khangja si madu underline to blessed fact madu yam na yai phaba adu ba but it's also an awful fact aduga amas amarom da su yam na ni ngai or ba ni hingli ba isor maha ka ai koi तो मिनगा दा बनी हाय बसे सो लेट अस मरा मदुना आइ कोई ऑलवेज रिमेंबर दैट तम पुना मक्त निंग सिंग ब ओइसनु देयर इज नथिंग सीक्रेट अरोट प करिस लेके लॉट कदा ब करिस नथिंग दैट वी कैन कवर फ्रॉम कुपसिन ब या ब करिस लेते हिंगले ब ईश्वर मंगोन मागि दिस इज समथिंग वेरी रियल मसी करि गुम्बा खरा तसेंग तसेंग वी कैन हैव पासवर्ड फॉर आवर आवर फोन्स आइ कोई गि फोन गि पासवर्ड वी कैन हैव पासवर्ड फॉर आवर लैपटॉप्स लैपटॉप की पासवर्ड सिंग दे कोई लेरम ब याय But I want to tell you our so Lord would need no password. Password darkar hoy ta bani. He can unlock every password. Mahak na password khuding magloi hangto pangam bani. And once again I don't say adu ga muka hanna ina hai jeningi any lighter way in my aina ithamoi da tayang tayang ba mong amata da ina hai jaw na hai jaw roi hai jaw na te hai jari bo afam na te yang na tayang how much in these times perilous times masi ki mata masi da da kininga ai masak ora ba mata masi da of this terrible age of such masi ki sathira ba dishonesty and unfaithfulness and corruption ขุดซาให้บ่กี่มาตําไอ้มอรัลิตี้อดุมบ่ไอ้นทุสาดบ่กี่มาตําโอ้ยังเจเนอเรชั่นโอ้นะฮะโอริบ่มีรอยังบร
Now we want to conclude today. The time has gone by so quickly. There's much more to share. We cannot take a false position before the living God. He can try that, but he could not. Either out of the millions of people, me, a single man, can be tracked down. But me, million, I'm not a guy. I don't know why he's on a likun. He got ticket from somebody. Likun, leave from somebody. We cannot take a false position. I know. Aran, but if I'm not a guy, I know. Leave from somebody. Leave from somebody. On the spot. Ishor na mapam adu makta da ikaw na suri ba talayi ba mapam adu da makta da ishor na may bani mapam adu makta da all the time on the spot mapam adu makta da matam ko na makta layi ba ishor layi bani aho ba makta da gi ura ga layi ba ishor na mapam adu makta da lep laga layi bani and ikaw na tawgi kalle ba tawri ba thabak sing adu mapam makta da adu ka mahang na hayrak kani nang ay ngon da soy tan hayrak kani personally hawzik He will say these words to us. Masi ki wahai se ay koi dhaarak kani mahakna. He will say. Mahakna dhaarak kani. Son, daughter, ichanu pi. Let us have that mask taken off. Madhu ki mai khum madho lauthok lasi hujikti hai na dhaarak kani. Let us keep that self-deception aside, my son, my daughter. Isha ni isha bulong nam se budo na thay do na nakal da thay do aga thamma basi thamma thamla si ichanu pi ichanu pi hai na dhaarak kani. Let us face the facts. Oi daba chum daba ki sasan daba ki oi ba singa se ekhoi mayok na si Let us face this issue right up Oi ri ba haurak le ba thorak le ba makhai singa se ekhoi mayok na duna Lord says I know all about it Ai prabhu na har kani ai na kuding mak singa se khangi hai na I know all about it son Nangi maram da ai na loi na khangi ichanu pa ichanu pi nangi maram da ai na loi na khangle I have known about it all along Aye, nama tam sangna dagi nang onda cekil wahai pira kerabu. All along I have known about it. Aye, nama tam sangna dagi kangla kerabu ni hari bersinggah. You have never been able to cover it from me. Nang na ing onda dagi lot pang amda dunia lagi bani. Aduh bu nang na mipung kuding makta gidi nang na lot lagi. You could never cover it up from me for even a moment. Miku kerabu dang pau bu nang na ing onda dagi masih lot pang amloi hari na hari rakan. In closing, I want to read. Psalm 139. Which is a precious psalm of David. Oh Lord, Thou hast searched me and known me. Thou knowest my down sitting and my uprising. Thou understandest my thought afar off. Hey, Jehovah, na akna. Thou compassest my path and my lying down, and art acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, O Lord, Thou knowest it all together. Not one word in my tongue, Lord. Thou hast beset me behind and before, and laid thine hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me; it is high. I cannot attain unto it. Whither shall I go from thy spirit, or whither shall I flee from thy presence? If I ascend into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there thou shalt, shall thy hand lead me, and thy right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely, darkness shall cover me, even the night shall be. Light about me. Yea, the darkness hideth not from thee, but the night shineth as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to thee. For thou hast possessed my reins; thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. For I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. My substance was not hid from thee when I was made in secret. 
and curiously wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. Then I did see my substance, yet, yet being unperfect, and in thy book all my members were written, which is continuance, were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. How precious also are thy thoughts unto me, O God. How great is the sum of them. If I should count them, they are more in number than the sand. When I wake, I am still with the ego. You know, one thing I want to say, this is what Sama says. This is what David had to say. Where you come from? You see me. You know, and it's beautiful. You know, it says here, there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, Lord, thou knowest it. I give away the, why later? You know, I give some bond that later on that why later than a tongue in hand. Even in my mother's womb. Mahag na kang biba sa ay gi imagi pibok nung dalay ngay dagi mahag na kang abuni. Hi na samis na masita hari ba sa samis na hindi ba isuwal gi maram dahay bani. David was conscious. David na masiki maram da bahapta ki kang. And I would like to close. Ay na mapa masita loisin zara gani. The Lord says, I know it all, my daughter, my son. I have known about it all along. You have never been able to cover it up from me. Even for no moment. 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 Ya, amne kini ngai gi masak oer bo wahai ni ano bo walap na bagi oi mi oi singda. It's a terrible word for those who fight against God. Masih kini ngai gi oer bo. Isuor gi mayok ta thabok suri bo lan sok na di bo mi singi da mak ta kini ngai oer bo wahai ni. But as I said, hado ga ai na hai ki bagum na. You and I, if we are honest, ai na pukcer ting la bati. Never need to fall into the hands of the living God. Hingliwa isor gi kutta tawa gi darkar oide taro. We don't have to. We don't have to. So I share this word. With much fear in my own heart. But this is God's word. This is God's word. People can say that this is his interpretation. The GS of interpretation. So on and so forth. But I want to tell you. God's word. Will have to reckon. Will have to reckon. It is with him. We have to do it. At the end. Not with the leaders. Not with the pastors. Not with the elders. Not with the elders. Not with the elders. Not with the elders. But it with the Living. I want to tell you when we are conscious of the one who has called us with a purpose. I want to tell you when we are conscious of the one who has called us with a purpose. I want to tell you when we are conscious of the one who has called us with a purpose. I want to tell you when we are conscious of the one who has called us with a purpose. I want to tell you when we are conscious of the one who has called us with a purpose. I want to tell you when we are conscious of the one who has called us with a purpose. We will see as the Lord leads. Ishwar na ikoi but sing biga da ba laka da ba chayi ol da sing biga da ba matung ina ikoi amu Ngai mi narasi ikoi ishwar ki maang dalo ina mag lepkat mi narasi Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Father. Let us really rise up in His presence. Let's be conscious of the living God before whom we are. God has spoken a very serious word. He is awakening us. Awakening us to the reality that He is the living God with whom we have to do. 
It's a matter of infinite comfort to us to know my God is a living God. He is with me. While that is on the one side, let's also consider the other side. He reacts to every defection of man. He reacts to every sin, iniquity, disobedience, unfaithfulness, rebellion. How sore, how more terrifying it shall be when you despise the blood of Jesus Christ and his sacrifice. Which once sanctified you, but you do not hold that in any honor anymore. But continue in your self life. He died that we should no longer live for ourselves but unto Him. Amen. How sore, how terrifying. Oh, may God help us. I stand here, I stand here not just to minister to you. But I stand here before God as God ministers to me as well. My brothers and sisters, finally, we have to reckon things with him. How often we have said that this is his interpretation. This is his counsel. This is what he wants to say to me about this. I want to tell you brothers and sisters. If it is his word, then we need to reckon with that. We have to settle things with that word in our lives, finally. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, may God deliver us. May God help us today. I'm sure he is speaking a word because he loves us. <coughs> he loves us, loves you and me. Loves the body of Christ believers. Each one of us who will listen to this word. That we may be overcomers. Hallelujah. Aiken. Aiken thought. Out of millions. One man. Who can track me down? But God did. God did. Aiken didn't realize a God who gave victories for them, crossed them over to Jordan and, and to the promised land through Jordan and all this great miracle, the one who did, the living God in the midst of, was able to see Achan. Tribes were brought and then tribe and the families and the households and man by man. Oh my God, help. May God help us and change us. Yes. He is a God of great love over us. At the same time, He is also a God of judgments. He reacts because He loves us. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for thy word. Lord, It wasn't easy to share this word of God. But you have placed this word. You have given this word of God. What can I do but share it with your people? Lord, it's a word for me. It's a word for all of us. You are awakening us, Lord. To the reality that you are the living God, not in, in doctrine, Amen. Amen. 
But in reality, O oh God, that infinite comfort that you are the living God also brings us to the reality to withdraw from the living God is a fearful thing. It is to fall in the hands of the living God. Father, help me. Help all my brothers and sisters. You see us, Lord. You see our personal lives. You see our families. You see our life in the family. You see us through and through, Lord. Our relationship in the body of Christ. Our relationships with one another. All the judgments, bickerings, biases. Yes, your God. How often we have said it's his interpretation, it's his feeling. He may be a leader, that's okay, but Lord, save us. Deliver us, Lord. Lord Jesus, we bring our lives to thee once again this afternoon. Lord, not for a moment we could cover up anything before you. Not even a moment. Everything is open, Lord. Everything is open. Father, help us to be awakened to your righteousness, to the reality of our life with thee, the reality that you are the living God with whom we have to do. You are God of resurrection. You want to bring us into life from every realm of death. Your intentions and thoughts are life, Lord. Life and life. We thank you, Father. We bless thee with all our hearts again. Father, we pray your Holy Spirit, your Holy Spirit, will apprehend our lives today by your word of God. Apprehend us. Apprehend us, Lord. Apprehend our lives. Thank you, Jesus. Change us. We do not want to harden our hearts, Lord. While it is yet today, help us not to harden, but turn to you in repentance, knowing that today you want to save us and change us and take us on into that great salvation for you, for which you bled and died. Yes, Lord. That life you are offering, giving and giving and giving to us, Lord. Help us. Give you all the glory. Give you all the praise, Lord. Let thy word richly dwell in us during this week. And continue to take us into the depths. Yes, Lord God. In living realities of that word. Give you all the glory and praise again. In Jesus' most precious and matchless name we pray.